Get on a drink and buy him. Where'd you get the money? I'm empty, your eye. You know, Nick Granger. I was filming Tina's wedding at the Whistling Oyster. And Nick comes up, he's like, Tony, you can help me. You've got a camera. Um, anything I can do for Nick. He's like, I think my wife is cheating on me. What I've done is I've cut a hole in your wardrobe. What I want you to do is hide in there and watch her and that bastard licking each other's flippers. So I just sort of nodded and hoped he'd forget, but he never. And he come round for this, like, next day. We go on to his, he takes us up, right, gets us to sit in the cupboard with my camera. I'm in there, like, for an hour, and he comes in, like, with his wife, then he says, like, really theatrically, All right, hen, I'm off, I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. And then off he goes. So I'm sitting there filming it. But now one comes round and nothing. All she does is sit there, like, reading a magazine and tearing up bills. And suddenly, Nick comes back and he's like, What the fuck do you think you're doing fucking about? I never, I never fucking did. What fucking hell is this? And who the fuck is that? Then she starts, like, getting, like, sexy about it and she's like try and forget <laughs> us we only made four <laughs> i'll get you later you little slut drags us downstairs and then really loudly so he knows that she can hear it cause us f and s v c f and w i'll kick in there f and c f and f and cunt gives us a big smile hands us a tenner it was horrible lager right